The number one thing as a service dog owner, handler, that I get asked is, how can I get a service dog and how did you start out with one? Well, I can tell you right now that I did not mean to have a service dog. I did not necessarily want a service dog, but at 10 weeks old, my um, first service dog, Pele, um, was jumping up against the bathroom door while I was taking a shower. We were over at a friend's house and we were like, geez, knock it off. And he wouldn't, and he just kept trying to bust the door down to get into me. So I'm like, fine, I shut off the shower, get out, tell him, you know, blah, blah, open the door. And I sit down to be, and I'm like, what the hell is going on? This is very out of character. I stand back up and almost pass out and end up in the ER. So starting at 10 weeks old, which is phenomenal, I had my first service dog. Thankfully, I was a trainer because it's very expensive to train a service dog. So when people come up to me and they're like, geez, I want one. I'm like, you want what? Oh, I want the ability to have my dog with me at all times. Why? So what I have to say is why? She's literally the cross between a Tyrannosaurus Rex and a two-year-old. You guys may not see it because she's all calm. This is Dr. Jekyll, Mrs. Hyde. So you see Mrs. Hyde. She gets home and she has killed 10 moles, three possums, and a neutral rat. This big. That little thing. This big. Yeah, she's definitely not something I would want with me all the time. But one of the ladies came up into the casino when we were there last week and she goes, oh my God, you're so lucky. I'm like, I'm lucky, why? I'm like, I haven't won any money. God knows I've lost it. Huh. And she goes, you have your dog with you. Oh, I do? Hmm. She goes, man, I want a service dog because dog sitters are really expensive. And if I had a service dog, I could go gambling all the time. People wonder why I start getting snarky. Like, I'm thinking, oh my god, you want a service dog? You want to be so sick that you don't know five minutes from now if you're going to be rushed to the hospital because you're having an asthma attack so bad that you may or may not make it? You want to be so nervous around people with PTSD that you can't even get out of your house? Why? I don't understand this. So people just don't understand that Having a service dog is not all about, oh, she's a pretty puppy. Oh, I get to have my dog and my companion. Believe me, people, go to a fucking dog park. It is so much easier than dealing with her 24-7, I promise. The other amusing part is she has these cute little boots um, during hot weather that she wears. We were at Six Flags um, in September, one of the hottest days. It was like 95 out. And she's wearing her cute little boots, and everyone's like, oh my god, she's wearing boots! What? Who put dog shoes on my dog? I wouldn't have known. 215 people, literally, because we were counting in four hours, either stated to me, to my husband, to my friend, or to their companion about her wearing dog shoes. So, Nike, here's your next dog, Jordan. Mm-hmm. <laughs>